The First Battle of Changsha was the first of four attempts by Japan to take the city of Changsha, Hunan, during the Second Sino-Japanese War. It was the first major battle of the war to fall within the time frame of what is widely considered World War II. Chapter 1 – Background and Strategy The war had reached a stalemate after two years of fighting. Professor Fu Sinian noted in July 1939 that while the Chinese army had become stronger, the Japanese army had weakened. On the 15th of August, the 11th Army came up with the general plans for a campaign south of the Yangtze, ranging 250 kilometers from the Xinjiang River to the Gan River. In early September, Japanese General Toshizo Nishio of the Japanese Expeditionary Forces to China and Lieutenant General Seishiro Ikigaki set out to capture Changsha, the provincial capital of Hunan. The Japanese 101st and 106th Divisions were deployed on the western bank of the Gan River in northern Jiangxi, and the 6th, 3rd, 13th, and 33rd Divisions marched southward from southern Hubei to northern Hunan. Two of the primary motivating factors for the Japanese in launching the attack were the signing of a non-aggression pact by their German ally with their Soviet enemy, and their defeat by Soviet forces at Nomohan. A large attack on the Chinese would therefore restore morale. In addition, Germany's invasion of Poland starting on 1 September 1939 gave the Japanese further motivation to crush China's will to fight in order to pave the way for the establishment of Wang Jingwei's puppet government in central China. Altogether, it became obvious that the 100,000-strong Japanese force was to converge on Changsha. The Chinese strategy was to counter the enemy column in northern Jiangxi and then encircle the line on the path southward. Chapter 2 Order of Battle for Battle of Changsha. Chapter 3 Course of Battle On the night of 14 September 1939, Lieutenant General Ryotaro Nakai's 106th Division drove westward from north of Fengshan, Jiangxi, against Wan Baobang's 184th Division of the Chinese 60th Corps. After fierce fighting, the defending forces abandoned Jian. The bulk of Japanese forces then moved northwest to assault Shangfu, Ganfang, and Zhushui. In coordination with Narkai, Lieutenant General Jutaro Amokasu's 33rd Division assaulted Guan Linseng's 15th Army group from the south. Tut having recently captured important strategic locations in Jiangxi Province, Japanese troops began their attacks on Changsha in earnest on the 17th of September. The Japanese 101st Division and 106th Division started marching westward towards Changsha, in neighboring Hunan province. Meanwhile, the 3rd Division, 6th Division, 13th Division, and 33rd Division invaded northern Hunan province to put additional pressure on Changsha. However, the Japanese stretched too far out westward and were counter-attacked by Chinese forces from the south and the north forcing them to retreat eastward. Dot on the 19th of September, Japanese forces proceeded to attack Chinese defensive positions along the Zhenkaiang River with poison gas. Japan had not signed the Geneva Protocol. After having recovered Kumkianji on the 19th of September, Wang Yao's 74th Corps and Song Katang's 32nd Corps retook Jian in a counterattack on the 22nd of September. On 23 September Japanese forces drove the Chinese out of the Zhenkaiang River area, and the 6th and 13th Divisions crossed the river under a cover of heavy artillery, advancing further south along the Miliuo River. East of Changsha, naval vessels landed the Shanghai Special Naval Landing Forces and portions of the 3rd Division, surrounding Changsha on three sides. Heavy fighting continued afterwards and the Chinese retreated southward as distraction for the Japanese while supporting battalions arrived on the east and the west for an encirclement maneuver. By 29 September, vanguard troops of the Japanese 6th Division had reached the outskirts of Changsha. However, due to the heavy casualties they had incurred, estimated at over 40,000, with a significant portion being fatalities, as well as the dangerous possibility of their overstretched supply lines being completely severed from constant harassment, Japanese forces were forced to withdraw across Leodao River. Acting Group Army Commander Guan Linseng issued orders at once for 52nd and 73rd Corps to pursue the Japanese to Miluo River. 
General Shui Yue ordered a general counterattack on 3 October in pursuit of the Japanese who were south of Chongyang and Yuyang. On 5 October, Chinese troops shot down a Japanese aircraft with orders from General Yasuji Okamura to call off the Changsha offensive, and the nearby Chinese 23rd Division attacked a Japanese Navy port at Yingshan, damaging several vessels. By 6 October, Japanese forces at Changsha were decimated and retreating. Two days later, the remnants fled northward over the Miliuo River while the Chinese 195th Division of the 52nd Corps pursued them across the Zhenkaiang River to recapture their former forward positions. At night, the Chinese launched raids into Zitang and Yelin. By the 10th of October, Chinese forces had completely regained their former territories in northern Hunan Province, southern Hubei Province, and northern Jiangxi Province. Chapter 4 Conclusion Changsha was the first major city to successfully repel Japanese advances. Retaining the city allowed the nationalist Chinese forces to prevent the Japanese from consolidating their territories in southern China. The commander of the city's defense, General Shui Yue, was a graduate of the Republic of China Military Academy and a Chiang Kai-shek loyalist. 